and the guy that is co-owner of that coffee shop called Valor Coffee at Alpharetta, Georgia, is none other than F3 Lurch, who joins the show now. And What's up? brother, we, uh, we saw your face, man, on the announcement, letting them know that the coffee is here. And now he joins us on the show. So good to have you, dude. What's up, guys? Good to be here. Man, hey, this man. is uh, this is exciting, right? This is a journey that you and some buddies start out. You're like, we want to get in the coffee game. You start at mobile. It kind of continues to accelerate. So before you tell us that story, tell us your F3 origins. How long you've been doing it? How'd they get you going at Alpharetta? Where's Lurch come from? Yeah, so uh, I'd, say, I'd say about two years. And from what I understand, uh, we are like the the redheaded stepchild of F3 because – I, I, we just play Frisbee. Okay. So like, I don't, I, is that a thing nationwide where a lot of people are playing Frisbee, like ultimate? I mean, I, I've seen ultimate Frisbee AOs pop up every now and then. Okay. I don't, not every time. I mean, we got a world champion. We got an ultimate Frisbee world champion in our region. <laughs> yeah, You've heard him, Robbie Brooks, Boneyard crew. What's it's up? pretty much the reason why I heard Ma Bell went down there was yeah, because to, of the to Frisbee. To bring an end, bring yeah. an end to the Frisbee. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah it, it's a really great time. Uh, we get there 5 a.m., really nice turf field lights are on nice. and just we just go all out you know it's it's really fun because everybody's trying really hard but also and everyone's really competitive but yep. also no one gets like bitter and butter sure. sure so it's like a really it's a really cool combination of like guys going as fast as they can playing hard but not being bitter you know because so, i've yeah. been a I heard you guys talk about basketball. I yeah. I've been bro. a part of a lot of basketball bro. games where people just get sideways. Bro, like, get sideways. Like they're trying to throw hands. Well, this is thirty five and above league. We got mortgages and families and stuff. Like yeah, that. come on, man. Like, like really, you want to wait in the parking lot and run your mouth? You're forty four <laughs> years old, bro. Right. Go home. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that that's part of how I got my name. Yeah. So I'm I'm six seven. So whoa, yeah. that's we need that's... you. Come to care. Yeah, get up here. We need you on the squad. <laughs> we need you on the power forward spot. Uh, yeah, I'm not over sure. 35 though, so I don't know if I could play. We right can. Now. There's uh, ways in which you can doctor birth certificates. It's fine. Nobody. Will care. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, Lurch, obviously yeah. the name uh, yeah. coming from me just being tall. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing that for about two years. Uh, one of the site cues, I I went to church with him a long time ago, and uh, I was telling him, I was like, man, I really. Uh, want to start a frisbee league or like a football yeah. league or something to like to be active and he and i had no idea what f3 was at that point and i didn't know he was a part of it and so he was like well what if i told you it's already a thing and you're just going to come to my thing and i was like okay great, Perfect, so, great. yeah that's how i, I awesome. learned about f3 so tell me about this journey right for you guys for valor coffee and getting in the game and then when you hear hey man we got got an opportunity here to partner with f3 i mean what a great what a great thing to explore yeah, so it started uh, back in 2016, me and two of my best friends, one of them I've known forever, like since uh, kindergarten. The other one, we, w which is Scobie, because uh, he likes to brew kombucha. That's how he got, he got his name. Nice. Uh, but yeah, so Lurch, Scobie, we're the ones that are a part of F3. So um, we started off when we were 19, 18 years old uh, back in 2016. And we were just working as baristas at coffee shops. Hmm. And uh, where we lived at that time, there weren't a lot of specialty cafes, like co coffee shops that are really bringing in nice coffee and they do the yeah. pretty latte art. Yeah. Everyone looks like a hipster, like that kind of that kind of a place. Sure. Um, where you can wear a hat with a bill like that. Right. Or like yeah. one of those teeny beanies, <laughs> you, you know, answer. like there's yeah, a lot sure. of that going on. No doubt. No, we got it. I love it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I love those places. Old. I mean, dude, a good cup of coffee, like it's hard to beat, man. Yeah. Yeah. There's cactuses everywhere. The walls are white. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a whole thing. Right. So there's um, black, black accents. Right. So yeah. there were none of those around where we lived because we lived in, you know, in uh, just at the base of the App Appalachian Mountains, like kind of far from the city. And so we were like, man, we could either go get a job at a nice cafe in the city and like have to drive an hour to work every day or we could just start our own thing and so obviously we had no money or business experience or anything that would allow us to actually start our own company but that's the cool thing about living in this great country is like you can just start a business when you're 19 and right. that's that's what we did it was bit by bit um we we did a kickstarter so we raised ten thousand dollars on kickstarter just from uh, P 
people that we knew um, and, you know, people that are part of our church, our family, friends. We have three people, right? So that's kind of a bigger network than just one person. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we started off mobile and then that, then we started roasting in 2018. Um, and how that works is like when you don't have the money to buy a roaster or a warehouse in this whole facility, you use someone else's roasting operation. So every Monday, me and my business partner, Riley, would load up his Honda Civic with those huge, you know, burlap sacks of coffee uh, and unload them and roast all day and then, you know, package all of it, ship it all out. So um, we did direct to consumer on our website. We supplied coffee for our cafe, obviously. And then we also did wholesale, which is my yeah. side of the business where we're working directly with other coffee shops that serve our coffee. Nice. Um, then that turned into us opening like our first actual brick and mortar store in downtown Alpharetta. Um, then we opened our, our warehouse, uh, which is way better than using someone else's space, obviously. Uh, and then we opened our second cafe uh, a year and a half ago, uh, a little bit closer nice. to Atlanta. And so all the way to F3, um, my my business partner, Scobie, uh, was just like, hey, F3 is, is trying to source some coffee. Like, I I, th I think he said, like, I, I know we're not going to get it, but like, we should try. Sure. Um, and I was like, OK, that's that's a challenge. You know, let's do this thing. Um, and so just getting to meet all the all the guys affiliated with F3 and after some calls and sending samples out, you know, we they were we were the ones that got picked. So. Awesome. Um, Here we are. Yeah, I think we're uh, almost a week into the launch, and it's been really awesome so far. Yeah, we are. We're we're about a week out from announcing it to the world. Been working on it for a while, and it's it's one of those things where you know the guys at the gear store are always looking for new things to that's missionally aligned, makes the packs more durable, and it's like God, you know, one of the greatest things these guys do is not just have this workout, but it really is standing around that parking lot or going somewhere and, and having that sacred time where kind of that real fellowship work can happen. It's not all built around a cup of coffee, but it happens to be a pretty big part of it. Right. And for us every morning, that's, you know, six 15 or six 30 to six 45 or whatever. That is a pretty special time. It's where you can have real conversations with guys. You can see shield locks peel off. You can see, see whetstones and blades start to start to form you. All that stuff kind of happens there. And more times than not, it happens with a cup of coffee. And I think we've seen a real uh, surge in PLC, like guys either bringing percolators to the groom and finding outlets mm -hmm. or like the guys at Claymore do where Rapido's a site queue, brewing up a bunch of pots, getting them in thermoses and then just having them there and standing around and, and having that cup yep. of coffee. And so here comes F3 Coffee now to be able to do that. Tell us a little bit about like, tell us a little bit about the coffee, man. It's hitting, it's hitting AOs. We had it at ours yesterday. First cup. Had oh, the first awesome. cup yesterday, man. I'll show you a video about it here Did in a second. Did you enjoy but, it? Well, listen, I'll tell you this much. Let's let's watch. You decide. Yeah. You decide what the packs thought about this. Hang tight. What's up, F3 Nation? It's your boy, Hello Kitty. Just finished up a workout here in Carpex. Uh, Deborah is in the house. It's wet and wild, but we got coffee. We got our first bag of F3 coffee. Has arrived in Carpex, and uh, we're having some. And we're getting into this thing. T claps to the boys of Valor. Great work. Great cup of joe. What do you think? 10 out of 10. Really good. Yeah. Really good. Whoa. Ringing endorsement. Coco Crisp. He knows a thing or two about coffee. Mm. Is that not the greatest cup of coffee you've ever had? It's the best cup of coffee I've ever had. Go get some. F3gear.com. I mean, you're off to a good start, bro. <laughs> yeah, I guess start. the best ever is a good start. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think so. I think it's a good start. Uh, so and that's a Georgia boy. That's that's job block. He's a Georgia. That's a Georgia here. guy. And Coco Crisp has like uh, a one year old, so he's been drinking coffee basically <laughs> straight for a year. So he knows yeah. a thing or two. But really, in all seriousness, man, we are excited. It's starting to make the rounds. It's starting to get into guys' hands and coffee pots and aos. And so, tell us a little bit about. What, what it tastes like, man. What, what kind of coffee we got here? It's really, really good. Yeah. So our, our philosophy as a roastery is it's less about this kind of traditional like light, medium, or dark mm. roast, and you choose one. That's really the only way that coffee is described. You know, like coming from a specialty coffee background, we're used to buying more expensive coffees and then just roasting them to maximize the inherent innate flavor found within that green bean before it's roasted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so for this, this coffee for F3, 
uh, some of the coffees that we were sending out as samples to people, they were like, we like this, but it's too light. Mm, like, you yeah, know, it, need, it needs to be darker. And we're like, okay, you know, we're, we're going to, we're, <laughs> we're going to roast this thing darker. And so, yeah, you know, it's, it's the darker you roast a coffee, roasting is sort of like the great equalizer, you know? So if you had a two different coffees and they tasted very differently, but you roasted both of them really dark, they would end up tasting pretty similar, right? Because you're just breaking down that flavor more and mm -hmm. more and adding more of that like carbon flavor that you get from cooking something mm -hmm. basically. So that's what we're doing with this coffee. It's a coffee from Brazil um, and kind of an interesting thing. I can't remember if I said this on the launch video or not, but it's uh, it's what's called a pea berry. And so I actually have a visual here. Uh, Bam, he's got uh, it right there on yeah. his arm. If you're watching, <laughs> go back and watch the video. You can see it. It's great, it's a great yeah, visual. Yeah. So those cherries that are on a coffee tree, the co coffee beans are just the seeds of that fruit, right? And so there's typically two seeds in each cherry, and they're kind of opposing each other like this. But with a pea berry, it's this weird mutation that happened a long time ago. It's just one bean. So I don't know if you've noticed in your bag of F3 coffee, but the beans look a little different. They're like smaller and more of an oval shape. Nice. That's because they're just one in the, the cherry. And there, you you might be tempted to think that like, oh, that leads to a smoother flavor. Not really. Like it, it's, it, it doesn't have this big impact on the taste. Like, you know, we just love how it tastes roasted light and definitely how it is dark too. So, mm. um, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Good stuff, bro. All right. Well, listen, go to F3Gear.com. It's available there now, whole bean or ground. And you can either grab a bag or you can save a buck if you do it on subscription. They can just keep it coming. You can keep it stocked, locked, and ready to roll. And brother, we're excited, man, for this journey and excited for more guys to, to get it in their mugs. Same here. All right, dude. We'll catch up with you later. All right, All right Lurch. Peace. See you, buddy. See you, Lurch. F3 Lurch, Valor Coffee out of Alpharetta, Georgia, the real deal. And now available for you packs. You got to get some at your AL, bro.